They were pretty hilarious because when we turned them loose from being cooped up for three or four days, they just went running around everywhere, flapping their wings. They couldn't quit running. So I'm out here doing chores again today, as usual. And it feels like it's been forever since I've done any chores because over the weekend, Michael did them all the whole time. I had a really sore throat, and so the cold air hurt my throat whenever I came out here. And he usually does the chores most weekends anyway, so it all worked out. My throat's a little better today. It's still a little sore. turkeys loose. They were pretty hilarious because when we turned them loose from being cooped up for three or four days, they just went running around everywhere, flapping their wings. They couldn't quit running. I'm going out to turn the chickens loose real quick. <laughs> I think the turkeys are making up for lost time of not being able to follow me everywhere. Hey, little bits. Hey, what you doing? You're getting all wooly and everything. Looking pretty cute. turning into the outhouse out here in the feed room because with this cold weather all the animals have been flying through the feed a lot faster than they normally do and the normal amount that I bought last time hasn't lasted like it normally does so I'm gonna have to run to town and probably get some more food to finish out until I go shopping again. For lunch I'm frying some chicken strips from our own homegrown chickens. And then we'll probably just eat salad with it. I don't know what the deal is, but my stomach hasn't been feeling good the last several days. I don't know if it's just because I have a little bug and have a sore throat, or whether it's all the food that we've been eating lately. Um, I normally try to eat pretty healthy and avoid processed food. But with this month being December and all of the stuff we have going on and everything, I've just kind of said, oh, well, and just started eating whatever, and man, I can sure tell the difference. So it's a good... Yeah! I must see how it's chicken. This is just the last piece. Really? So I wanted to let you know that I did some more research on turkeys and what you should do with them in cold weather. And I actually should have done that from the beginning. But um, I found out that they are cold hardy and that they can take care of themselves pretty much throughout the winter. The only thing you need to do is um, provide some kind of shelter that they can get into away from rain and stuff if they want to. But... Um, you should never really trap them up into a small space or anything like that because they actually need to run and exercise and stuff like that to build up their warmth. And um, they do better being able to forage and look for food on their own, which I thought was very interesting. So the other day when I trapped our turkeys up in that small coop, I totally did the wrong thing on that. and. Um, you know, they were there for probably three or four days, so I felt really sorry for them because when, when I turned them loose, they were just running all over the place and um, so happy to be free, flapping their wings and making up for all the exercise that they lost over being trapped in there. So, so I guess I'll, we'll just leave them loose like we've always been, and now I won't have to stay up at night fretting about them and wondering if they're going to survive the cold night like I have been. So it's not quite dark yet, but we are heading out to do chores anyway because it looks like most of the animals are up for tonight. Looks like, I don't mm -hmm. know. We have to do the bunny. Okay, let's do the bunny chores real quick. Little Miss Bunny better go up. Look at that. She knows just what to do. Better hurry before. Oh. 
There she came out. Better go up, Miss Bunny. There you go. She is like she runs in there and waits for us to get it halfway done, and she runs out. Nope, I'm not going going to bed. Then she just runs back in there. Mm-hmm. Over here, our turkeys are getting ready to go to bed for the night. Three of the four are tucked in. Now that I know that they can handle the cold, I feel a whole lot better about that. I think they're a lot happier being able to roost up there versus being cooped up. Ooh, the sunset was beautiful. Look at that. It is. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It is a cat. Let's see if we have any eggs to gather tonight. Excuse me, chickens. Now I need to get in here. Ooh, it's nice and toasty warm. Oh, I can't see anything with them guys in there. Nope. Looks like we've got just one smashed egg in there. With the really cold weather that we've been having, our egg production has went way down, which is to be expected. So earlier this afternoon, I was gonna run to town and get some feed for the animals because we are out for the most part. But then I got to editing a video and um, time got away from me and it got to be a little too late to run to town. So we're going to have to do that in the morning, for sure. But I think there ought to be enough food to get them by through till tomorrow morning. Well, it looks like it's just one egg for today.